Hi my friends. So after cleaning up my, my workshop a little bit today and um, it's just a nice light snowy day out there. and I did some exercise yesterday and I always have a day when I need to rest it. So I'm in my room, I cleaned up a few things, I got a few things sorted out and I've, I've had these up on my wall for a while. Um, they're gelatin monoprints that I did and uh, just kind of been wanting to do um, a couple of cushion covers for my living room. Um, I noticed yesterday when I was cleaning out a closet in my hallway that I have an awful lot of artwork in there and you know almost none of my artwork is hung in my own house. So I measured one of the cushions out in my living room that I sometimes make covers for and so now I figured out that I need four and a half inch squares so I'm always one of those ones that cuts things wrong so right now I'm trying to I've got the right width but they're too long this way. I need them to be cut at four and a half and I have ten. Um, but what I'm going to do is so for I need nine inches which is almost what this one is. It's nine and a half so I need nine inches but I would like to have that flower in the picture and I can't afford to cut some off the box. So there I'm going to cut it about there because that's about as close as I want it to be on the top. I could take a little bit more but on the bottom the stems are not that all that interesting so let's see where the nine inches falls. So if I put nine on the top exactly it's there so I don't think it'll hurt to cut that little that little bit off. And five so I still have an extra half inch that I could take off the bottom but what I think I'm going to do is this this little bit here is kind of pretty um, I may not end up using this piece at all so I think I might move it down half an inch and that way I can still get four and a half on the bottom and maybe use this piece okay so four and a half there we go here we go so, I think this one is quite pretty and now I just have to cut it in half this way and make sure that I have, I'm leaving uh, the seams on here because they'll be buried and we, I won't see them. So I've got four and a half, but is it four, yeah, I'm not going to have four and a half that way. So then I'm going to have to decide which, which side I like better. I mean these can be used, I will use these in other, in other projects. Um, I do all kinds of things with them, but for today, hmm, which one is nicer? That's a tough decision. Which one do I want? This one or this one? Well, this one has maybe a little bit more in it. Maybe I'll be able to use that in something else. So I'm going to cut it here so I can cut a little bit of that white off. Okay. Sometimes it's kind of hard cutting these up, especially when I like them so much. But you see here I have another odd bit that I, I used part of in another project. So I will be able to put all of these into something else. So there. So that white won't be seen once I stitch it. So there's one. And I think I can take one out of this. This will give me four and a half to there. So this one likely won't be used for anything unless I wanted just a piece of something for some color. So we'll save it. You never know. So there now I have two squares. I have another piece here that I think this one also has been part of has been used. I really like it. I think it would go nice. 
so it must be pretty close to four and a half. Yeah, I'd have to cut a little bit off. Right this way, I'm not sure. I think I like this side the best. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna trim a little bit off of here, here, and then check it. Four and a half. I think that works pretty good. Four and a half. Four and a half. All right. So there's four. So I need. I actually need twenty of them to uh, do my cushion cover for the living room. Four by four. So this one here is a slightly different color, slightly different, but it does have some pink in it. Do I want a little bit more of that in there? Possibly. I don't know if you can hear the squeaking on my table or not. It's it's because my flap of my sewing machine is set on top of a piece of wood to hold it level with my cutting board, and it's. Uh, so it squeaks a little bit when I lean on it. Okay, so I like that section right there. So unfortunately, I, this is kind of nice too, but I have to stop somewhere. And I'm going to have to cut a little bit more, but I don't want to cut it off the top. Okay. That's pretty, and it's a little bit different. And I can get one more out of that piece. Question is, where am I going to cut it? I really like this this delicate part over here, but I also like this. So I don't know if I'm going to cut this or save it till later. Save it till later. I'll decide if I'm going to cut it up or not. Um, I actually have another. I have this piece too, which is another odd piece that'll go over. Maybe I'll make one of the cushions with odd shapes. I need it to be about nine inches. Four and a half and four and a half would give me part of that. And I think I'm just gonna do it. Just being careful, I've got four and a half that way. Hold that back, and I'm gonna go four and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it. Because I just don't want to waste the rest of it. Because like I said, I do lots of little little projects, little zippered bags and that kind of thing. And sometimes I just like, I can just use little tiny pieces to insert or strips or anything. So I always keep a box of my leftovers. Okay, so that's four and a half by four and a half. And that gives me that. So that's why I don't want, I don't want to cut all the way across because these still may be salvageable, salvageable some of these strips or parts. So now I can get one more. And the question is where? Maybe this part here. So that's four and a half to there. That's four and a half. I think I can take a little more. And then if I bring this, no, I like it down there. Okay, so this piece I am going to cut. I've got more than a four and a half and I'm just going to trim it. All right. So this might also still work in something. So we save that. And now I just need to cut four and a half out of this one. So that's a half there. And I think I like that. And a half would also bring me up there. I'm going to come up a little bit. That's pretty good, I think. And, oh, I always like to cut my little pieces off. There we go. Save that, save that. Four and a half. Listen to my squeaky. I must ask my husband if he could fix it for me sometime. I don't know what I need under there. Okay, it's just a, it's just a square piece of a 
wood, like a two by four that is underneath the side of my sewing machine to level it. Okay, there. And I'm gonna see if I have enough. Got a couple more, actually I've got a few more on my board. I have one that fell, which I like very much. It's a different, this one here. That one's pretty too. So I think I should be able to get enough. I've got a couple more over there. So I'm going to um, stop here, measure, make sure I'm cutting enough squares, and then uh, I'll show you the results later. <laughs>